I'm going to do the running along. Okay, now we'll go the other way. So we just turn on the forehand. I just kind of think, and I don't really touch him with my leg because he's so sensitive. Okay, now we're flat walk. I'll bring your head down. Otherwise, you're kind of high headed. As long as you're shaking and moving well, it can stay there. You can keep it for five minutes ago. Remember, you support with your outside ring, you're steering with your inside ring. I'm not carrying them. Although I might have to do that in the beginning. So it's again, I think you're too here to bring your head down and kind of start again. been doing good standing on a loose rein. You couldn't do that at all before. Now I'll show you new mommy high side pass. So with those sensitive horses you don't do much. Sometimes it's just your reins and you think your leg. So I'm going to take my hands to the right and I'm just thinking like oh I would push with my left leg but I'm actually not touching him at all. Good shot. I just thought it now. I'll take my hands to the left. I think I'm going to push with my right leg. Now I'm pushing with my right knee. 
I didn't even touch him with my calf, it's just my knee. And there we go. So sensitive horses, you don't have to do all that stuff with, do you? Now we're gonna get off the other side. So he's used to a lot of different stuff now that he wasn't before, the job. Uh, but he's still a sensitive horse. And hopefully he'll relax over time, but I don't think we've been in the arena except for lunging for a while. So those are his gates. You can see he can do flat walk now. He can do running walk. It's not really fast because it's more about him being relaxed and taking our time to get it correctly because he was so tense. And again, you would think, well, can a show horse do a flat walk and a running walk? Not if they did it with big, heavy shoes, no, or long feet, because then they never learned to do it right, right? He never learned to do it naturally, but now he can. Good job. I just want to show you a walking Taylor home. There you go. Taylor's on a totally loose ring because the dogs are running at me. Hi, doggies. Lyman well, Reiner and something else. But so today I did lunge in. Made a huge difference. We're gonna get the dog. <laughs> I saw you come at us. We're not afraid. I'm gonna chase you if you come after us. This is fun. No. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Boy. So the dog is chasing us. <laughs> um, Taylor was great, right? Doesn't like the stone so much. But, right. So now I'm holding on to the buckle, okay? Even after we were chased by dogs. But, he trusts me, he's relaxed, I prepared him well. We've been doing this over and over again. And, uh, and of course we're just, we're alone. He's actually fine with other horses. So this was his worst case scenario, was being alone. So, Taylor goes home to his uh, new home next week. I want you to all wish him luck. Hopefully she'll send us an update and let us know how it um, is going because I'll check in on her and uh, hopefully she'll prepare him well and keep desensitizing him and lunging him and getting him used to the new stuff and we'll end up being like this for her. Okay. Taylor says thanks for watching his progress. He wants to thank his old mommy for uh, putting the time and the money into him to help him find a new home and for everybody who uh, hopefully learned something from his videos.